Okay, so here I have the R Markdown document that's associated with the Plotly lecture. I'm going to do library Plotly, of course, after I've installed it. And then the command is really simple. Plot underscore Lee, empty cars, X is, empty cars is a, is a data set, which is a, a data frame. It's stored as a data frame. Um, the X is weight, the Y is miles per gallon. Mode is markers, so that's just going to create create a scatter plot. So you could copy that exact code for any data frame, and it will give you a scatter plot. Okay, and you can see your scatter plot in the R Studio Viewer pane. It's interactive, right? When as you hover over points, they're showing their x and y values. But there's all these controls up here, which include things like downloading as a PNG, uh, rescaling, resetting the axes, changing what the hover over action does, and so on. You get, the publish button works as well. You can publish this to our pubs um, just by clicking on this button, uh, which will create a, a web graphic for you. Um, but we'll show you some other ways to publish it here in a little bit. Um, well, one other easy way to publish it right here is when you click on export. You can save it as an image, copy it to clipboard, but let's just save as web page to show you maybe the easiest thing to do, okay? then you just need to pick a, a name. So let me just call it test. Oh, I already named something test, so there it goes. And then it brings up a web page with it, with it on. And there's a file, test.html, on your computer that you could reference. And you could go in and actually look at the code. There's a bunch of, if you know some JavaScript, you'll understand it totally. If you don't, you, you should just be able to, to clip out the parts that you need if you wanted to embed it. So it's super easy to use Plotly. So your first assignment is to create a simple scatter plot, try it with a different data set, create a web page, create a graphic like a PNG and a PDF, um, maybe publish it to our pubs. And so try that out and then we'll move on to some other examples.